All right. Now let's go back to United States politics. Mm. Um, this is a really, really um, interesting court case. So the Supreme Court has sided with the Biden administration in regards to his border enforcement policy. So since 2021, Governor Abbott, um, uh, the Republican governor of Texas, has mounted a multi-billion dollar campaign to impose stringent measures at the border in order to deter migrants. This includes um, erecting barricades, barbed wire, um, floating um, buoys in in the Rio Grande that like cut you if you touch it. Um, And it just insane stuff. And this is arguably, well, I would say definitely, against federal law. Um, These... Federal agents who go down, who are supposed to patrol the border, have seen these pieces of barbed wire and have seen the effects of people getting caught on it, people actually drowning because of it, people not being able to get up into the uh, up to the other side of the Rio Grande and then drowning in the river. This is happening because of these draconian border policies. So the the Biden administration would come down with border agents, and they would cut the barbed wire, move it, it would would be in their way, all this other stuff. And the Abbott, uh, the Abbott government was extremely frustrated. They said the absence of razor wire and other deterrent strategies encourages migrants to make unsafe and illegal crossings between ports of entry. I think that's absolutely untrue. If anything, this only increases the mortality rate. Yeah. Right. There's no evidence to suggest that less barbed wire means less death. Okay. All we've seen is an increase in death because of these actions. And think of the stories of these people who are getting to the border, right? They're coming from countries south of Mexico, sometimes across the Atlantic Ocean, and they're often paying smugglers to get them all the way through Mexico to get up to the American border. Once you've made a journey, like, first of all, what are the, are you really going to, know what's waiting for you once you get there aren't you more just thinking i need to get into the country as as fast as i can and then once you get there once you put all of that effort invest all of that time into making it through most of central america if not all of it is barbed wire despite how scary it is really going to stop you from trying to reach your destination of course not of course not so the biden administration took uh abbott to court they went to the uh, the 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 fifth circuit court of appeals first um the fifth circuit court of appeals is the most conservative court of appeals in the country it encompasses texas louisiana i think oklahoma and then one other southern state um this panel prohibited the federal agents from damaging, destroying, or interfering with Texas barbed wire and Texas border policy. Um, The only way that they were allowed to do it was in the case of immediate emergency for serious bodily injury or death. I think this is very similar to the Republican um, abortion bills, you know, making it uh, exceptions for women who have danger to their lives. Yeah. At what point, at what probability is it a danger to your life? Are we talking 50%, 70%, 100%? Yeah. Well, it sounds like here these people are talking about a 100% serious death scenario. Child is literally caught in the barbed wire in that moment, bleeding out. You can go get them. Yes. And otherwise, if you're wrong about your judgment, you risk being convicted and sent to jail. Yes. So... Ken Paxton, he is the attorney general of Texas, um, sued the sued the Biden administration and took it all the way up to the Supreme Court for this. Okay, and the the Biden administration appealed it all the way up to the Supreme Court. So here we are. Um, the Ken Paxton says that it is in the public interest to reduce the flow of deadly fentanyl and combat human trafficking. Well, guess what, Ken Paxton? We know that the majority of fentanyl coming into this country comes through the legal ports of entry. Mm -hmm. Not only that, it also comes smuggled by U.S. citizens. U.S. citizens are the ones smuggling fentanyl into the country through ports of entry with legal passports. That's how they're doing it. And we know that information. It's not secret knowledge. No, illegal immigration is not the cause of the fentanyl crisis. As convenient as that is for anti-immigrant messaging, it's just not true. And we have to keep 
pounding yeah, that message Sorry through. to disappoint you, all of you guys who just want to keep them out of brown people coming into the country at a minimum. It's just not the case that you can put fentanyl as the reason why. Yeah. So the Supreme Court actually sided with the Biden administration. Uh, uh, Justice Barrett and Justice Roberts were the two conservatives who sided with the liberals to form the 5-4 majority. Now, people are online and in the news saying, Supreme Court sides with Biden. Supreme Court makes liberal turn. Wait a second. I have a totally different reading of this. Yeah. I'm sorry. Are we saying that four of the Supreme Court justices no longer think that the federal government is the one who controls border policy? We're going back hundreds of years of precedent and we're rolling all that back? Yeah. That's what we're saying here? It's frustrating because they're, the court didn't give any explanation None. of the justices' decisions. No, there was no explanation for, no explanation for the dissent. It was just, it was just a ruling. Yeah, it's. I, I mean, I can, I can see arguments, right? It's, it's Texas's land, right? It's the state's land. But I think the better argument is the jurisdiction that the federal government has over immigration generally, because yes. that's clearly what we're dealing with. Here. Yes. So as per Title Eight of the United States Code. It directly empowers federal agencies to control who enters and leaves the country, enforce immigration laws at the borders, and take appropriate action against those who violate those laws. That is Title Eight of the United States Code. Now, we're, these four justices are saying that Texas's laws about putting barbed wire and guarding their borders supersedes the United States Code. It does not do that. I don't no. know where they're coming from. I wish I got more explanation for their dissent so I could read why they said this. Yeah. Another argument, we have statute authority, not just U.S. code authority, but statute authority from the federal government in the Immigration and Nationality Act. This gives multiple agencies the authority to control the border. This includes ICE. This includes the Department of, uh, of, of uh, Homeland Security. Mm. All of these things are delegated the authority to control the border by the INA. So this ruling from the Supreme Court, it's actually a temporary order that's preventing Ken Paxton and Texas law enforcement from blocking federal agents and federal enforcement from accessing or dismantling these barriers that they've put up at the border. What There's actually a, a an appeal that's going up right now that's kind of based on a different case from a Fifth Circuit ruling in Texas that ordered them to remove the floating barriers on the Rio Grande. Um, so this is the the ability for Texas to put these barriers there at all is still in question and still making its way through the courts. The what this is doing is just answering the question of in the meantime, like right now, is federal law enforcement able to deal with or to dismantle the barriers that Texas has up? And the Supreme Court has said. Yes, so far. And I need to see the dissent here because, like, <laughs> I, I can't understand how the Supreme Court justices are making the determination that they're just upending immigration policy and saying states can decide their own immigration policy now yeah. after uh, hundreds of years of that not being the case. Yeah, it is. It is kind of crazy. I mean, I, I'm. I, I suppose they can have some perspective of like the the states have a maybe some far fetched. The states have the ability to almost defend their territory mm. or to like, they can make some argument that immigration is hurting their citizens. Sure. Um, but it is far fetched. It's Sorry. hard to imagine. It's hard to believe that, uh, unbiased judges would agree with that. So I guess we'll see if there's a better argument that we're not thinking about right now we'll and see. whether the, judges or justices that that gets to are unbiased either way good thing for Biden and good thing for immigrant rights yeah good for now good for now